Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. Today I'm going to cover a simple solution to a relatively difficult problem when you go to hang your pictures on the wall. I have three easy ways to do this, and you can choose whichever way you want. Let's get started. We're going to start off by taking our frame and setting it upside down or face down, and then we'll see where our slots are. Okay, now you'll take a standard level, and this is an awesome little level by Swanson. It has a light in it. Makes it easy for me because my eyes aren't that great. We're going to take tape and we're going to put it right across the top here, evenly. If you find any kind of line that you can go off of, this ridge right here, any of that, will help you to keep it even. We're going to take the level and set it down where the tape lines up with the tops on the two sides right here. This is where your nail holes will be. So I'm going to mark that directly on to the tape on both sides and I'll get a center point with my tape measure I'm going to find my center of the wall where I need to put this I can go up this center point with my center line now these two points right here will show me exactly where I'm going to put my nails and we just line up our holes we'll take our frame and just set it right in Next, we'll double check ourselves, and we're on the money. If all you have is a torpedo level or a smaller level that won't run the span, just take it, set it down with a piece of wood or any type of straight edge. If it's magnetic, if this is a piece of steel, it would work real well because these have magnets in it. But I'm going to take this, set it on here just like that, and tape it. Keep it tight. Run your tape across, and now you have a larger level. You can take your, your tape and make a mark on here and line it up to where it's straight and do the same thing with this that I did with my level. You mark it on the two sides. I have my level here, and everything's going to fall right. If you don't have a level, but you're lucky enough to have a Swanson Speed Square, you can still accomplish the same task. You'll take your Swanson Speed Square. You can set it right on the edge of a piece of wood, like this. Now you'll grab a piece of tape. Make sure you're flush with the bottom. And slip this tape on one of the ends. You don't want to stick it down the middle where the 45 degree mark is because that's going to show you when you are level. You're going to take this and put one right on the edge over here. When you line this up with the end where it can get flush, now I'm flush on the bottom, I'll take my tape and pull it across really tight. You'll want to take two pieces of tape for this because you don't want this thing to move and it's very simple to do anyway. Just take your tape, slip it through this side. Pull it really tight where it's flush. You'll take a piece of string and you can tie a nut onto it or you can tie a nail onto it. Anything that can work as a plumb bob that has a little bit of weight to it. On the speed square, you will see a little notch right here. And there's a word pivot. That shows you that this is a pivot point when you're making angles. And I have other videos that cover that. But this little arrow will show you where the notch is. Look for that. Then you're going to take your string and put it right on that notch. Make sure it is in that notch and not over to the side when you tape it. We're going to take a piece of tape after we hold this down well. Okay. And we're going to tape it across the top. I don't put the tape across the face because you don't want this to be taped down in the wrong position. You want it straight from the peak. So we fold it over the top and in the back we can fold to hold that string. Now we're ready to work with it. We're going to take the straight edge that I have with the tape and we're going to set this block right on top of that. Now we can tape them together. Once you tape this together, you have a level that you can walk around with and set on top of things. You can see right here that this is going straight down because the plumb bob is holding that string straight down. When it does that, and it's on the 45 degree mark, 
that means that I'm right according to this. If I were to take this and pick it up, you'll see the bubble move and the string line will move. And that's telling you that it is off. Well, that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out paulstoolbox.com for all my archive videos. I will see you on the next project. And if you found this useful, hit like for me. This video was made possible by Swanson Tool Company.